Hi kids, I'm Miss Lisa. We're going to do a canoeing song together. Now, if you happen to have a warmy stick or a rhythm stick, a wooden spoon, or anything else that's long and skinny that you can hold in your hand and pretend is a paddle, then go ahead and get that now. Okay? But if you don't have something you can hold in your hand, that's totally okay. Because we can just pretend. And this is going to be just as much fun. On the verses of the song, we're going to pat the beat in different ways. And on the chorus parts of the song, that's when we're going to pretend we're paddling our canoe. Now be sure to stick around for a few minutes after the song is over because we're going to do a quick lesson on the difference between beat and rhythm. So I hope you enjoy Maeve the Adventure Guide. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Was some really good canoe paddling. Now let's take just a moment to talk about the difference between beat and rhythm. When we were singing the verses, we were patting the beat. And basically, the steady pulse that we were patting didn't change. The duration was always the same. Tap, 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 tap. And sometimes we patted our bellies, sometimes we patted our shoulders, sometimes we tapped our heads. Right? And in music class, we like to show beats with this symbol right here. What is it? It's a heart. And why do we use a heart? Well, because our heart beats. So that makes that a great sign for representing beats in music. Now, the rhythm is a little bit different than that. I like to show my rhythm by clapping my hands. And a good way to talk about the rhythm is to say, it's the way the words go. And when we clap the rhythm, sometimes there are longer sounds and sometimes there are shorter sounds. So let's just use the first couple of lines of the song as an example. And the first thing we're going to do is pat the beat. Now put your beat on your shoulders like this, and I'm going to sing. And if you know the words, and you sing along too. One, two, three. If you're looking for adventure in the hot summer sun, I've got a trip for you that is second to none. Good for you. And so that beat, it didn't change. It just stayed the same. But now we're going to clap the way the words go. And the word for that is the rhythm. And you're going to notice that some of the sounds are long and some of them are short. 
Okay, so you're gonna clap right along with me, and again, if you know the words, go ahead and sing it. One, two, three. If you're looking for adventure in the hot summer sun, I've got a trip for you that is second to none. Excellent. So, the beat stayed the same all the way through, and the rhythm had a combination of short and long sounds. Well, Thank you so much for joining me for this lesson today. Don't forget to come back and watch other videos. Bye.